Last night, well, yeah, last night, a few hours ago, someone threw him a lot of cocktail in my car. It was at about 3 a.m. About 3 a.m. Hold on. So basically this, the installation right here, it's all like this toast, it was not that bad, but right here this part, it just burned off, so I had to peel it off. It was burning in here. And this is the car right now. Yeah. So it started, started leaking fire from there and right there. And I guess that should. I already looked on the floor. There's nothing. There's nothing on the floor. So my guess is that they threw the either. Hold on, let me see. They either threw some type of like they threw gas and then lit it up, or or it was a. a So that, that fucking happened to me today. I mean, last night. That happened to me last night. There's the pieces that were burned off. My fingers, my fingers, they have a, my fingers got, um, what's it called, the uh, blisters, look. Cause I burned my hands, I mean, fire was coming out, fire was coming out of the, the grill. All right, um, so basically what happened last night, uh, I, was, I was inside the house. I heard a bang. It wasn't like a hard bang, it was just like a soft, but some, like if someone, someone threw like a bag or something, you know what I mean? Like a bag. It, it sounded like that, I swear. And I go outside, I look out the mirror, and there's fire all over the, like, the, the Honda in the front. Like the, the hood, they had a fire all over. I was like, whoa, sh what the hell, dude? Like, what the fuck? So when I open the door, I see a guy on a bike leaving, like already on the corner, like, like trying to like dip. And dip by dip, I mean like like speed out of here. Like he was leaving in a hurry, so I didn't focus on him. I focused on the, you know, the fire that I had right there, like on top of the Honda. So I go get the hose and I start spraying water, water, and I started noticing that oh crap, on the bottom of the hood is is where the fire is coming out too. So in my mind, I'm like, well, obviously I need to open it. So I try opening it from um, from the, you know, I go to the door, and I flip the switch one time and I go to the uh, hood and it's not doing it it's like it's not opening it's like it's not letting it like like tick. so <laughs> like tick. so I grab it while it has flames coming out and like I pull it up and it it finally unlocks but when I try to pull the lever to open the hood it doesn't open so I go back to the car of the, like the side door I flip the switch again so I can open the hood while the flames are going, I come back, I open the hood, I grab the stick with the with the fire, like, right there around, and I just put it, bomb, I put the hood, like, my hands were, like, honestly, my hands were, were hot, dude, like, I was getting freaking, I was getting burned, but at the same time, like, I didn't care about the pain, I just really cared about turning the fire off, and just, like, going inside the house, you know what I mean, like, I was, I wasn't really cared about if my hands, like, get 30 degree whatever degree burns like I was just like stop this fire control it and go inside call the cops you know what I mean so as I'm as I'm closing as I'm closing the hood I mean as, as I'm as I'm trying to you know finish like like washing the fire uh, some bystanders I guess people that, that were passing come to my house and like hey you know what I seen what was happening like he was outside your house and he threw something at your car. I seen it, and then it started, it went in flames, and we were passing by. 
And I was like, oh, thank you. Did you see the guy? I'm like, yeah, we seen it. He went, he went, um, you know, down the street. Like, oh, man, what, what, what was he dressed in? Do you know how he looked? Like, no, we just seen it. It was like some guy with a black shirt with an, on a bike. And he was just going that way. Yeah, we seen him when he did that, but we were passing by. And honestly, they they started looking at the BMW and then looking at the car and me. And while I was with the, with the water hose and looking and, like, in panic mode, like, damn, like, what about if someone comes back? Like, I'm just, like, weirded out. Like, what the fuck? What, why is it happening to me? So they actually start probably thinking of some you know some other stuff and you know i tell them that if, if they could be like my witnesses when the cops come and they're like no you know what you know we're just we're just trying to see if you need help or anything we already called the cops too but uh yeah like we're leaving you know we just wanted to make sure you're all right and, and if you need help and it's like, i mean it's okay it's okay like you know what they really did come and, and i'm pretty sure if 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 anyone was doing me harm, they would have came back or whatever. If they would have seen them, then they would have came. You know what I mean? Like, like oh, damn, there's witnesses there or whatever. Either way, um, um, thank goodness that someone actually saw what was going down. Uh, so I get the fire control. They leave. I go inside. I call the cops. First first thing, I call the cops. After I call the cops, I call my cousin. I tell my cousin, hey, you know what? I'm just letting you guys know what's happening right now. Like, some someone just, you know, threw them a lot of cocktail in my car, basically. Just lit the car on fire. Um, cops arrive. Uh, I tell them what when I tell them what went down, like what I just told you guys, and they just start telling me if if I know anyone that that might have problems with me or or you know just the basic stuff like that. And I tell them no. I mean I, I keep a low profile. I don't, I don't mess with anybody. Honestly, I don't I don't I don't get involved with anybody. I don't I don't really associate myself with anyone. I keep it to myself, my family, and like one friend only, like one friend. That's it. That's some crazy shit, right? That's some, that's some crazy shit. I know, trust me, that's some crazy shit. And I'm living through this shit. Like, what's crazy is that, I mean, other people would freak out and they're leaving. I understand that, but I mean, I can't. You know what I mean? So, what's crazy is living here and then at the same time thinking if it could happen again. Fuck. I know. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. That's a tough way to live, but I mean, fuck. I don't want to say I'm kind of used to it, but. I am kind of used to it. That's what sucks. I'm just, I'm just weirded out that this happened like all, out of out of like the sudden. You know, all of a sudden it just, it just happened tonight. And I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm speaking tired. It's just, I'm tired. Like I haven't slept the whole night because of this shit. And right now I'm just waiting for my wife. I'm, I already took pictures of, of the Honda. That's some crazy shit, right? That's some, that's some crazy shit. I know. Trust me. Trust me.